Hey guys, Andy here. So there must be literally hundreds and hundreds of wallpaper apps on the Play Store. And normally I don't bother with them, I just find an image that I like and I set it as my wallpaper. But I think it was on the All About Android podcast perhaps where they um, they mentioned this Reddit wallpaper app. And I gave it a go and it's one that I really like. So let's just show you, this is it in the Play Store. Wallpaper changer for Reddit, automatic wallpapers. And if we open it up, we're in the settings basically here. So we can see here, this makes no sense to you at the moment. Don't worry, I'll kind of explain it in a second. We're going to apply to both the home and the lock screen, and we want to sort by hot images. Um, suggested subreddits. Now I've been through and ticked all the ones that I wanted. It doesn't save them when you tick it again, but that's what you can see in there. Look, space porn, technology porn, silly porn. Um, we've got a few other image options here. Crop image to screen size, for example. That's all fine. Then we get to set an auto update frequency. I've gone for every 12 hours, but you can change that to where you want every minute look. <laughs> Not recommended. Uh, you can set it if you want it just Wi Fi or to do it when you're on mobile data. You can have a low battery mode where it won't do it if you've got a low battery. You do get a notification when it auto updates. That's fine. Um, it also, well, we'll see in a minute, but it also gives you an option to sort of redo it if you don't like that when you press a button, it may get you a new one. I do like this, store image history, so we can see all of the previous wallpapers. So if we think, do you know what, that was a nice wallpaper. So this one, for example, there it is. Um, come back out of that. And then we can have a widget on the home screen. I've gone for a quick setting tile. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, and we can remove ads, it's about 89p to go to the pro version and have the ad taken out, which I may well do actually, because I do like, I do like the app. So this is the wallpaper on at the moment. You can see it kind of scrolls with the image. Not all of them do that. It depends which uh, which one you get, I suppose, really. And here is the notification. I'm going to say, look, just get me another one. It's now connecting to Reddit. It's going to, I guess, search through the different images, find a hot image, and apply me a new image to the wallpaper. And there it is. See, this one's not scrolling with it. It's kind of static, which is OK, but not as sort of uh, not as good looking basically is it when it doesn't move with the if I wanted I could just hit get another again look and it would do that so there you go quite a simple app but it's got some really good wallpapers there seems to be quite a good variety I've not seen no it's not duplicated one for me I don't know if it remembers which ones I've seen and which I haven't but uh, and it's just really easy to to get a new one did I actually show you you can do it by tapping the quick tile I don't know if I did and at the bottom there it says load a new one and there we go Actually, that looks, oh no, because it doesn't scroll. So it looks like one I've already had, but I guess it looks like a lot of different ones. So there you go. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But for now, my name's Andy, and I'll catch you all again soon. Well done, and thank you for making it to the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, you might want to click the little fellow that should hopefully appear about here to subscribe. Um, you may also want to check out some of my other videos, which are going to appear somewhere there. Um, also, come and have a look at my website, androidandy.uk. Um, there is also a forum. Come and say hello on the forum if you've got any questions about things or requests for me to review things or anything else. Just come and have a chat on the forum.